What's up guys, this is Nathan, the album reviewer guy here, doing another album review. And today I'm going to be talking about the new album from Apocalyptica, it's called Shadow Maker. This is the band's eighth album, and it's their first to feature only one singer for the entirety of the album, and that singer is Frankie Perez of Scars on Broadway, which was a side project of System of a Down member Darren Malakian. And, uh, well, I was I was first introduced to Apocalyptica when I heard their song, I Don't Care, which featured former Three Days Grace vocalist Adam Gantier. To be honest, I actually thought it was a Three Days Grace song the first time I heard it. But I eventually found out it was an Apocalyptica song. Uh, Apocaly Apocalyptica, for those of you who may have never heard of the band, is a symphonic rock band from Finland and they started out as just three cello players and a percussionist and they recruit other musicians to play other instruments such as the guitar and such and singers as well Apocalyptica has featured many different vocalists on their songs through the years so it was interesting to see them try something different by only having one singer being featured on the album now most of the songs on this album have lyrics, but there are three songs that are instrumentals. And the first song I heard off the album was the title track, and I liked it, but I wouldn't call it one of my favorites. It was a solid track, but it did drag in some spots. Now the first radio single, Cold Blood on the other hand, that was a song I immediately got into. I just keep going back to the song because I really enjoy the instrumentation, especially with flute and it was an easy track for me to get into. A good majority of the songs on this album are pretty good and they have more calming and mellow vocals for the most part except for House of Chains which shows a different side to Frankie's vocals. They're a bit harsher on that track but overall the album is pretty good flow, pretty good songs. I do enjoy the album but I feel like it drags in some spots. It's about an hour long and the closing track Dead Man's Eyes drags a bit it's a bit too long for me it to me it doesn't feel like it needs to be as long as it is the songs like nine minutes long at around the five and a half six minute mark they could stop it because it was just after that it was just a bunch of instrumental stuff including things that were featured in other songs in the album um, and then like an hour and a half of, not hour and a half, minute and a half of rain, literally, sounds of rain. So, I'm not saying that I don't like the song, I'm just saying it's a bit too long and it could have ended after about five and a half, six minutes. But overall, this is a pretty good album, I definitely recommend it. Favorites on the album, Cold Blood, Slow Burn, Hole in My Soul, and Sea Song, You Waited Out. The album gets an 8 out of 10 from me. Definitely a solid release from Apocalyptica, featuring Frankie Perez. Pretty good album from the band. And yeah, what do you guys think of the album? What do you want to see me review next? I have stuff from Tom DeLonge, Yellow Wolf, 10 Years, uh, Tech 9, other stuff on the way as soon as I can. Yeah, we're getting into finals and stuff in my college, so been busy. So I'm doing what I can. So yeah, bear with me. I'll put out as much content as I can as soon as I can. So my social media stuff's down there. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, or if you want to see more content. That's it. That I'm the viewer guy signing off.